Hey everybody, today we're gonna look at one of the most useful scales that I know, which is the major and minor diminished scales. With these scales, you can play multiple chords at once and expand your comping and chord soloing chops. Let's check it out right now. So first off, what are the major and minor diminished scales? All it is, is our major or minor scale with an added sharp five degree in it. It's essentially the bebop scale, but unlike the bebop scale, it covers two chords instead of one. What do I mean by this? Well, in our scale, we have C major, just the triad, and if we take all the notes of C major triad and move it up to the next note in that scale, the next chord that we get would be a D diminished triad. Now, if we make that C major triad into C major six and did the exact same process, we would get C major six and then D diminished seven. If you kept moving that pattern up, you'd get all the inversions of C six and then all the inversions of D diminished seven. Now D diminished seven can also be a substitute for G seven flat nine. So essentially we have one, five, and then one just repeated over and over again. So this scale covers both the one and the five chord at the same time. So what does this mean? It means that we can use this scale over both the one and the five chords. Let's talk about some ways that we can do that. The first thing that you need to do is be able to play the scale from any chord tone of C major six going up and down the neck. Remember that we're using C major six and not C major seven. So our chord tones would be C, E, G, and A. Then after that, be able to go up the C major six arpeggio and down the D diminished seven arpeggio. Be able to play that in reverse as well too. Then combine both these concepts together. So go up the C major six arpeggio, down the D diminished seven arpeggio, and then whatever note you land on, just go up the scale. Then reverse it. Already we're getting some long eighth note lines that can be used both over the five chord and the one chord. You can also use this to expand the resolution to the one chord. Take any 2-5-1 language that you already know, and when you get to the one chord and hit a tone of C6 or whatever six chord you're resolving to, then use the technique that we just did so you can delay the resolution to that one chord. A great place to try out this concept is over the first four bars of a blues or the A sections of a rhythm changes. Now, how do we make these lines sound less patterny? A couple ways you can do this are by adding enclosures and rhythm. Try using enclosures to enclose the chord tones of both C major six and D diminished seven. Here is a pattern that you could use to practice this.
try and make up your own combination of arpeggios, enclosures, and using the scale. There's so many possibilities here. Now, if you add upbeats and triplets to this, then we can get some really interesting lines. So you can see with just a little practice, we can take this scale and make it into something that sounds like bebop. Try practicing this over one chord and be able to move any arpeggio or scale concept up and down the neck. And when you feel comfortable with doing that on just one chord, then try to apply it to a standard. The other thing that we can do with this scale is use it in our chord soloing or comping. Basically, we can harmonize any diatonic melody with block chords. To do this, you'll need to know all the inversions of C major 6 and D diminished 7, like we covered briefly in the very beginning of this lesson. First, come up with a short and simple diatonic melody. Here's an example. Now just harmonize all the notes that fall in our C major 6 arpeggio with inversions of C major 6, and all the other notes will be inversions of D diminished 7. Now combine this concept with the single note concept that we were working on before, and you can get some really west sounding lines. To add to that, we can use chromaticism as well. Let's add chromaticism to our short melody line and then harmonize it. As you can see, the scale really has a lot to it. Remember, everything that we covered applies to minor keys as well. Just change it to C minor 6 instead of C major 6. Some great standards to start practicing this on are This I Dig of You and I'll Remember April. To demonstrate, here's one chorus of this I dig of you, and I'm going to be using a lot of major diminished language over the A sections. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about major and minor diminished scales and how you can use them to extend and expand your eighth note lines. If you like what you're seeing, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more content in the future. And as always, remember to always keep swinging.